Nelson. Hey, congratulations on returning back for another season of The Morning Show. How does it feel being back for I this? I am so excited. I, I have been working with Mimi Leader for years, producing director, and uh, we love working together. And I love working with uh, Gis, uh, 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 Reese and Jen and this entire cast that is just uh, brilliant. I mean, amazing to watch them work and have a front row seat in collaborating and also watching them uh, develop their characters. It's, I couldn't be more excited to be on this team. So for this season, what, what is Mimi's vision this time around and how did you want to uh, approach it? One of the things that was different about this season uh, as opposed to the uh, season two is we actually are in a lot of the characters' spaces which we've been in the, all the corporate environments, but we actually haven't gotten to see a complexity in their lives. And also as there's a deeper distrust and complexity with each of our characters, we wanted to see um, more backstory uh, in, in their home environments and to see the color shift, see it get darker and richer, and so that you feel that uh, impending uh, mischief that uh, is coming down the pike, um, as well as trying to explore more of the corporate culture of UBA um, with the evening news, with Alex's own talk show, getting into more of the spaces so that corporate culture, you see that develop beyond just the morning show. It's like, what is this whole network doing? And what are the machinations going into the, uh, the board and their decisions uh, as uh, maybe a corporate takeover happens. You know, all, the, all those characters have to be clearly defined so that you know what they're going after. Uh, and part of that is my work in developing their spaces and bringing in details to tell the story visually. Um, and I think you're gonna see uh, a lot of that, uh, that deep characterization uh, in this season. Is, is that difficult to do as a production designer to basically design these uh, backgrounds and rooms based on their personalities? Well, surprisingly, um, I started uh, my career as an actor. And so I always work on uh, the characters as if I were playing them and what space would I uh, be interested in performing in and what would I be looking for in those spaces that would exemplify uh, my characterization. So, uh, I, I thrive in trying to find the levels uh, of story so that on repeat viewing, you find new things that, uh, and instead of just filling space, why did they choose that art? Why is that desk in that position? What is their color palette and why? Those things have to blend perfectly with the costuming and cinematography, uh, but you're actually seeing those tangible manifestations of what's going on in their head. Do do they feel like, let's say, Alex's spaces all feel like she hired a designer and has done them for show? But in Bradley's new space that she's purchased, uh, that's not really quite decorated in the, in Tribeca, um, you get a sense that she isn't really doing this for show. She's trying to get away from everybody else and trying to create her own world. Uh, that's a little bit more um, industrial, a little bit more back to her West Virginia roots. And um, so in getting um, uh, everyone, the whole creative team on board with the idea of moving her into Tribeca, part of that was this can be a New York manifestation of West Virginia in a way that uh, other characters couldn't do. And so I really was excited to create that space. Uh, you know, I think it's just an extension of her. And in a way, it's very empty and uh, not all uh, put together, just like Bradley has this kind of emptiness as she's trying to figure out who she is, and she's not still not put together, even though there's a lot of polish and shine. Um, and so I try to do those things with, uh, with the character spaces. Even, even Corey's new space in the Hamptons, this house he's bought during COVID that uh, uh, is the house that is a signature house that he bought because it's a signature house so that he's using it as a PowerPoint. Um, it, those things are very fun for me to uh, bring to the party. Well, you've done it because we could tell because everyone interacts with them. 
Nelson, thank you very much uh, for ta ta talking to us about the production design. It's a beautiful show. Thank you. Thank you so much.